Hey everyone, here is my new video doorbell. It has two cameras on it. The top one is a 2K resolution. The bottom one is a 1080p. And this lets me see everything on my front porch all in one compact unit. Okay, so I thought for sure I smashed this thing to pieces. It fell, uh, you know, did a face plant basically on the the porch, which is brick pavers. Um, and I heard it, I was in here, and I went out there expecting to find it broken and the glass screen shattered, but it is surprisingly unfazed by So it's alerting me that someone is loitering in the front door, and that's me, but you can see I got some scrapes here and here and um, the lens is fine the camera is acting fine everything works on it so uh, that's a pretty good testament of its uh, durability I'm sure it's not really uh, designed to be dropped like that hey everyone this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel all right today I'm going to review this Eufy uh, dual video doorbell and you know I'm gonna go through I'm going to talk about the features of it I'll open it up show you what comes in the box uh, this one also includes the chime and then I'll compare it to my other uh, doorbells that I've had out there I'll show you some footage of it in action and um, we'll you know I'll basically give a review of what I think it can do versus what they say it can do I'll cover all that in this video so uh, follow along to uh, to see all that happen so to start off with, I had um, several other video doorbells that I've experienced. The one I use most often is my Ring uh, Video Doorbell 2. And so that one is what's hanging on my wall most of the time, but I've also tested out Xsense and some other uh, products out there. And I've tried out a couple other Eufy products for video cameras, for security cameras out there. And I've been really impressed with the types of features and their focus that they put into their products. So uh, I have Foscam cameras, I have Ring cameras, I think I have nine Ring cameras, I have eight Blink cameras, and then I have two Eufy cams, so, and as well as Real Link and a couple of others. So I've, I've had a lot of different ones, and I really like the Eufy products. Um, for one, for this stuff here, this is a 2K resolution, not a 1080p like most other doorbells. And then it has two cameras. So the top one is the 2K and then the bottom one is angled far down to look on the ground. And that one's a 1080p camera to look at the packages. It does all kind of cool stuff like it has package detection. So it'll give you an alert that says, hey, a box was detected at your house. Um, don't forget to go get it and it'll remind you and that kind of stuff. It'll also detect people. It has both a radar sensor and a PIR. PIR is the more no normal um, or more typical sensor that's used, but it can have false alerts as well as uh, missed alerts, missed triggers. And it's really based off a heat signature. So on cold days or someone's really bundled up or you know a hot day where they are um, the same temperature as ambient, it can get uh, worse at detecting things. So let's open this box up and see um, what comes in this um, this package now they, they are going to make a wired one that's coming out later in March of this year so March uh, 2022 okay so here is the camera and here is the chime so I haven't messed with this before but you know I have a, a ring chime so I'm sure this is very similar to that as far as what it does, uh, what is unique about it here is that it has a USB port on the back and an Ethernet port. So the Ethernet one is kind of interesting. I'll have to read and see uh, what all that means or what, what does it do there. All right, so besides these main two products in the box, you get uh, some stickers You know that tell you that it's 24-hour monitoring to put on your windows or whatnot. It has a mounting template so you can uh, get your holes correct without having to deal with the actual... Um, bracket itself then here it gives you a um, user guide that actually does have information you know a lot of times these new devices just give you like a QR code that says scan this and either pulls up a web page or pulls up an app 
this actually does give you the written instructions on what to do in here, which I think is nice. Still, I know a lot of times for me, I'm outside working, I don't want to have my phone out as well. Um, then it comes with a USB to USB micro cable, and I, I don't even know what that's for, so I'll have to figure out that one. Here is a security key. It looks like a ginormous um, SIM card um, extractor for your cell phone, and it looks like it has a built-in magnet on the back side. Um, yep, so that it can um, stick to a fridge or something so you don't lose it. And also it has a couple uh, connectors here. So you get your screws and these are some little wiring connectors. I'll have to check those out. All right, and then here is the bracketry. So this bracketry is very similar to ring. In fact, uh, this will be exactly how I have it. This one both ha has a angled to the left or right and then an angle up or down depending on what your needs are for where you place it. So that goes onto the wall and then this device here um, goes in and snaps in to there. All right, and then last, it has a power cable for the chime. So this gives you a little brick on the wall as well as a ethernet cable. So I'll have to look into uh, that and see what we do on ethernet. All right, so I just plugged in this home base and I figured out what um, the uh, USB port on the back side of this home base is for or one of the uses it can be for. And that's actually um, to charge up your, um, your actual video doorbell, which needs to be charged up. So this doorbell here, on the back side it has a USB port. It also has these two terminals like a ring does where you can attach, I think it's an 8 to 24 volt um, input. Yep, it's 8 to 24 volts at uh, 0.2 amps, which you know you can hook from your existing doorbell wires and that will uh, maintain or charge up your built-in battery here. But they say about every six months in normal usage is when you should expect to have to plug this in and charge it up if you don't have a way to uh, give it power at the wall. So um, for right now, I'm just going to plug this in here to get it a little bit of juice as I do the setup process. Let's go ahead and take off this protective film here. And you can see here I've got a green light flashing saying that it's charging up. All right, so the last thing I need to do is I need to plug in the ethernet cable from the home base to my home router. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so now I have... Welcome to Eufy Security. Follow the instructions in Eufy Security app to set up the system. Well, I think it just told you for me. So I'm gonna do this um, Eufy Security app. Now, since I already have some Eufy cameras, I already have the Eufy security app installed, so now I'm just going to open up that app. We'll go to the home page here. All right, so I just hit the add device button in the Eufy security app, and now I need to tell it what I'm going to do. So obviously I have a home base that I need to add, and here's a video doorbell. So I'm gonna start with adding a home base and now what's interesting about the home base is this actually has the built-in storage on it. So the doorbell sends the footage to your home base and this is your local storage device. So you know, if someone were to happen to steal the camera uh, intentionally or break it, then that footage is actually not on that outdoor unit. It's actually on this indoor unit. So I'm gonna tell it to add it to here. It's already plugged in. Connect your home. Yep, okay, so they're on the same network. And it's already blue because I already let it start up for a while. All right, now I'm going to scan a QR code here. Home base receives a pairing request. Press the sync button on the back to accept it. Okay, so that was added, that was pretty easy. Now it's going to do a 
update. Okay, so now this firmware got updated, so it's good to go. All right, so it seems awfully specific to uh, uh, placement here being 1.6 feet away, and I think it means at least 1.6 feet away, uh, maybe just for interference or something. But I'm gonna add another device that I haven't added my camera yet, so I'm not gonna hit finish. I'm gonna do add more devices. I'm gonna scroll down here to a video doorbell, but it's the dual one, so it is right here. All right, so it says press the sync button until I hear the beep, and that's on the back side here, right by the USB. All right, so I press that one. All right, so it's gonna generate a QR code on my phone. Ready to add device. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. Device was added successfully. Okay, so that is all set up and now it's going to help me set up the doorbell on the wall. So this is where it's asking if you have a typical traditional wire doorbell with a little button and it's 8 to 24 volt AC, this would help you set that up. I don't have that, so I'm going to say no. So this is saying this instructions here on the phone is the exact same as this quick start guide. So I don't need to um, actually follow them. So I'm just going to keep going. Now this is where it's gonna help me set up the options here. So you know if it faces the street and you have cars going across, it will change that. So I'm going to say, uh, I'll answer all these questions here. No, my poor steps. All right, so I want, for me, I want it to go far away just because of, um, I have no one around me and I want it to go as far out as I can. So I'm gonna do longer. And then, okay, so yep, you wanna see the person. All right, so I'm gonna check the live view because I'm kinda interested, I haven't seen this guy yet. Let's see what I look like. All right, there I am. So it works, now I need to mount it outside and then I need to, and so I'm gonna put my wedges on there. I'm gonna use both. One thing I can tell you I already honestly don't like um, is one thing is the way that it connects to its mounting plate. This Eufy one has a little lock mechanism that snaps in under here. And so you have to use this guy every time to actually unlock it, to take it off. Whereas the ring one, you know, you just squeeze it and you can uh, pop it off um, without any tools or anything. So it's not a showstopper because this is a fairly big pin so you could fit uh, a paper clip or anything else in there fairly easily but I just kind of wish they had something where you didn't have to have a tool at all um, to use. I guess, you know, for me with a metal door, I could stick this up kind of high on the inside of the door or something if I wanted to, but um, since you have to take it off and charge it, you know, every four to six months or something, um, I could see you losing that. So that's the one downside I see to the how, how it's attached. Otherwise I like, um, you know, this is just a nice simple, um, method for attaching it to the wall. Okay, so now it gives you some options as far as how do you want to see it. You can do the split view mode, which is what I just showed a second ago, or you can do a picture in picture mode. So I definitely like the split view mode. Um, the phone's already kind of set up to um, with that aspect ratio to see it all. So that's how I will do mine. All right, so here's some other things where it will uh, set up how it does the detection as well as telling you if people are kind of um, standing around and loitering um, is going to give an alert versus if they're just walking past. All right, and then delivery guard is where it detects a package. It can tell a, a brown box. I'm sure I'll test it to see if it can tell, you know, a white box or something else if it 
picks that up just fine. And so for this test, I'm going to go ahead and do the frequent motion detection because I want to make sure I'm the most aggressive and then I can always turn it down later. All right, so I don't want to invite anyone else, but if I wanted to, I could invite them and they can have, I can control the amount of access they have to like, you know, they can't change the settings on it, they can just view. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. I haven't dealt with their delivery guard and it has a couple features I didn't know it had. And one of them is, um, I knew that it detected packages. I knew that it would give you pickup reminders if you leave it out there. Uh, it would remind you to pick them up. But I thought it's interesting that it has a Scareway Porch Pirates with voice recording. So um, we'll test it out. But I assume what it is is um, if it detects a person is coming by and getting the package, you could have it automatically play a voice recording uh, when it detects that to kind of scare the person off. All right. So let's go in here to my camera setting just so I can see what it has. So this is where it tells you what all, um, you know, obviously the doorbell's on, it's at 87% charging. So it obviously came pretty full. It's only been charging for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so this is where I can turn on that package guarding. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to play with that because I typically get um, several delivery people uh, that will come in a single day, be it uh, FedEx, UPS, Amazon Prime, delivery, or USPS. So I don't want to be um, kind of yelling at them and making them wonder what's going on. All right, but I'm gonna, I am going to turn on this uncollected package alert. All right, so it's saying, you know, you can set it here for uh, various number of times. Okay, so this is a time of day to check for package. I thought it was being a um, a time, uh, you know, a timer since the package was dropped off. But this is actually time of day, 10 o'clock. If I haven't picked up the packages, let me know. I'm going to set it a little bit earlier. Um, actually, I guess that's 8 o'clock. Okay, yeah. So 6, we'll do 7 o'clock. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of neat, this uh, package live check assistance. So this will um, show me when the package was delivered in every event where a person approached the package. So that's going to be interesting to play with. It, these are some really neat features. And this is what I'm talking about with Eufy that I'm really impressed with is they have all those kind of things which uh, most other of these uh, cameras and doorbells, they don't think about that kind of stuff. Like that's really neat use of the artificial intelligence. All right, so here's the familiar faces. So you can teach it to recognize your faces. And then obviously, it probably won't give me alerts for I'm approaching the packages or whatnot. So let me just see here what it does when I alert a face. So I can add a face manually. Okay, and then obviously it'll pick up some more faces as time goes on and it, people go out in front of it. All right. So you can give it a auto response for when someone um, presses the button. This is kind of neat because it says anyone. So I assume that maybe later it will let you um, like set. I saw when you set the faces, you could set it as a neighbor. So you could um, probably tell it, hey, when a neighbor rings the doorbell or when a family or friend, you could give it a different voice response. But I'm not going to do any of that right now. All right, dual detection. I'm gonna go ahead and do all motion because I like when it detects animals, sometimes I'll get turkeys out there uh, or um, you know other things. So I just wanna be able to have all motion detected there. And then the sensitivity, I'm also going to bump it up. So I'm going back to see what the alerts were. It tells you if it detects a human or not. All these are human detections. So this is for today only. So let me go here and watch when that delivery guy came today. And 
and it also does do a facial recognition and it it um, captures a picture there uh, for you that it kind of saves that you can um, you can zoom into and look at it's uh, it's semi useful and it, it does have actually a facial recognition where you can save people like your neighbors your uh, family obviously you and family members in the house and it can recognize those people and it can act upon those differently the other feature I wanted to show real fast that I did not really pay attention to until after I installed it was this bottom camera it actually uh, pivots so it can rotate uh, left and right uh, to capture your uh, your porch the best that uh, that you need it to do depending on where it's located on your door and then the other thing that it has and it has two light now it's it's too bright in here for it to detect but at nighttime when it detects the motion it actually kicks on these two lights and it lights up the um, the the floor area you know the ground in front of it which is really nice for um, you if you're coming home you know if you need to see to get your keys or something um, you could actually put them underneath here and it will actually put out a decent amount of light. Maybe I should show that. Let me turn off the lights here. Okay, so here's the lights. You can see that they are actually pretty bright. Um, you know, I'm sure it's a little bit hard to see with the screen behind me. But they're definitely bright enough that you can see underneath them even though it's pitch dark. All right, so I've been using this UV video doorbell for over a week now. I've been comparing it to my ring. I've done lots of footage comparison, and you know, I always have to play with the motion settings a little bit to get it just right for your setup based off sidewalks, cars, all that kind of stuff. But I found that the UV one is uh, very good, and in fact, much better than my ring video. I the longer I have some of my ring. Uh, products actually the least I like them and probably the biggest thing about them is the um, the field of view is really big with the fisheye but being 1080p you pretty much don't get any usable footage out of it for uh, it, if you need, needed to identify someone it's always uh, pixelated and if you try to zoom in you really don't get any um, details out of the face, facial features whereas this Eufy cam and some of my other ones that are 2k resolution are better uh, and then also the field of view is smaller and that's where this this camera really shines because it has the two so it's not trying to get the uh, floor or the porch uh, and the people all in one field of view it has two cameras and they're more dedicated it's actually a much better layout so I'm actually, I really think this is going to be the new standard for how uh, video doorbells are created uh, because it just makes so much more sense. And then I really like the features that the Eufy has for package detection uh, where it can push notify you um, when the package is dropped off. It also notifies me when a package is picked up and then it can also remind me when the package is left out there. So at nighttime I can set it up so it says, hey, you know, don't forget about your package you left outside. So those are really nice features I like. It also has the smart um, facial detection where it can remember the faces. And it does all of that locally on your own network, which I think is another really nice feature that the Eufy has over something like Ring, is they are really open to you having everything local. You know, Ring and Blink and some of these other ones are really pushing the subscription you know the fee for monthly for you to get all their features the UV does not do that there's a little home base over there that one has the processing power that one has the storage is all encrypted and it's all stored on there and if you want to have cloud service 
on uh, on top of that, you know, in addition to that local, then you can do that. And it's actually I think it's the same price, a very similar pricing to things like Ring. So, uh, you, you know, to me, uh, I'm really actually starting to side with the Eufy products here. So really, I think Eufy is really showing their capability. They're showing their um, creativity with how they come up with these products. I really like some of their features. You know, there's uh, a couple um, small bugs that I saw here and there on the the app, but you know, it looks like they're going through and updating things like firmware and features on it. And I'm really excited to see what else they have to offer. If you saw in some of the uh, video there, the doorbell, you saw a big black box. That's actually their um, smart package drop. So I'll be covering that soon here on this channel. So stay tuned, you know, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. That way you'll get notified of more videos uh, that I post out every week.